I'm in this cave, surrounded by demons. I start running into the blackness. And then... Uh, I must be injured, but I feel no pain. I strike a match. That's when I wake up. Every night it's the same thing. I'm turning into a Zog. It is now 2,000 years since the battle fleet left Earth to seek out and destroy the planet Zog. And in these 2,000 years, they have found nothing. And yet, they continue on their journey through the depths of the universe, out into the unknown. Those on board the spaceships were divided into two warring factions. There were those that believed the Zogs really did exist, and there were those that didn't. The leader of the non-believers was called the Anti-Zog. The Zogs, they don't exist. There is no planet Zog. I am the Anti-Zog, bearer of truth, guardian of the Elders. Your leaders, they have betrayed you! Who also will wear the cap of truth? <laughs> Only the Holy Elvis can save us now. Save the Antizog! I didn't mean that literally, soldier. The leader of the believers was called the leader. Why, General Holcomb, is the anti-Zog not here before me? If the people start to believe there is no planet Zog, there'll be anarchy, there will be blood. See this chair? See how high it is? It's nearly as high as mine. Bring me the head of the anti-Zog. And the chair is yours. I just love bananas. They're so, so clever. Body art. Now that's what I call real art. Oh, Wade, you're so old-fashioned. How was it for you? Mmm, wonderful. Len want poo-poo! Len want poo-poo! Come on, Lem, you've been trying for two hours. Honey, what if the Zogs don't exist? They must. Somewhere out there, they must exist. If they don't, then all this is meaningless. And our lives are futile. The Anti-Zog has vanished into the sanitary sector. It would be impossible to destroy him without destroying the ship itself. There is a solution. Call the Archbishop. Last night, I dreamed as I see the Holy Mountain. I climbs it with my brothers until we reaches the very top. And there we see the dreaming heads. And I ask the heads, what should we do? They says, Rubbish! I say, we round up all the followers of the anti -Zog, and then, if they don't tell us where he is, why, we send them to the recycler! On their 40th birthday, everyone is taken to the recycler. 
hypnotized and made into delicious tasting burgers. These burgers are real tasty. An especial delicacy is the penis McNugget. Mm. McNuggets, delicious. My friend, the anti-Zog has said that the holy Elvis lives and that the Zogs do not. If you know what's good for you, you'll shut up. Leave him, Aid. He's doing no harm. Only believe in the Elvis and he will bring new meaning into your life. You didn't have to do that. I thought I did. <laughs> Over the weeks that followed, Aid couldn't help feeling that Eva was drifting further and further away from him. These days, they hardly spoke to each other. And then, one day, a group of anti-Zog sympathizers were rounded up for questioning. Take off their hoods. Eva, my God. Take them below. How could she have done this to him? How could she have betrayed his trust out with his buddies, he did all the same old things. But without her, life had become unbearable. Gentlemen, the forces of the anti zog have infiltrated every level of society. No one knows who or where they are. We scientists have come up with a solution. A machine that will travel through time and space. All you do is sit on it, pull this lever, and away you go. We can all escape and travel straight to the planet Zog. Run away! Professor Einswilly, you are a coward. I've got a better idea. Let's use the body artists. Transform them into Zogs. Then, make a film of them and show it to the people. What good will that do? It'll prove that the Zogs exist. People are stupid. What they see, they believe. This film will save us all. We body artists have always been interested in performance art. Body artists were strange creatures that lived on the margins of society. This art form had begun way back in the 20th century, when it had been all the rage for two whole years. But just as quickly as it appeared, it disappeared. Until somebody on board the ship rediscovered it as a form of light entertainment. And what began as a game show became a cult, and then a craze. Okay, let's remove the head and sew the penis on. Great. He looks exactly like a Zog. Action! Shot 10, take three. I need some motivation for the scene. Am I happy or am I sad? And so it came to pass that the Zog film was created. If these prisoners won't talk, then they must be made to. One last time. Tell us where the anti-Zog is. I can't. Then you give me no choice. <laughs> Next prisoner. Eva! 
Please. I don't want to do this. Please tell us what you know. I can't. Eva, you must. No. I have to do this. Quick! Shopping. Only one left. It's mine. No, so I want it. Ah, oh, you just stepped on my toe. That dress. It's so cheap. I love you. It's so beautiful here. Look, there's a little animal. Oh, he's so cute. Be careful. It might bite. What have I done? My life is destroyed. I have seen the Elvis. He really is alive. If that's true, take me to him. If I can see him, then I too shall believe. Elvis really does exist. Then show him to me. Unbeliever! Why should I show him to you? Because I can help. All right. Behold the Elvis! Musidem, <gasps> Musidem, to whom stay to love. My God! It is him! And he's singing in German! Oh, Elvis! When he come, when he come, when he feed the reader come. Will you wear the hood of the empty song? I will. But first, I must do something for you. The leader has made a film of the body artists pretending to be Zogs. I must stop it being shown. No! Don't worry. I shall return and bring the film with me. Are you a body artist? Sure I am. The name's George III Jr. This is Dad. George III Senior. Ah, at last, someone has come to see me. <laughs> I'm the most extreme of all body artists. Um, no one has gone further than me in the cause of their art. Um, how do I get out of here? You want to get to the surface and well, follow me. Those fools cut all their bodies off. I was a little smarter. I left my legs on. Once, we body artists had ideals. We believed in something. Then we just wanted to be celebrities, and for a while we were, but eventually the public got bored of us. And now we'll do anything just to get noticed. Trouble is, we've lost all our dreams. And what were your dreams? I don't know. We've forgotten. Now you have to cross this river and travel on alone. Thanks for your help. Uh, 
Who are you? We are the tattooists. The real and only true body artists. Yeah. Please tell me, how do I get out of here? It's easy to cut off bits of your body. Anybody can do that. This takes skill. Everyone looked down on the tattooists. They didn't even think what they did could be called art. Ah! Where's the skill in that? Do you have any idea how long it takes us to train to do this? I'm sure you're all very talented, but I am in a hurry. I need to get back to the surface. Okay, but first tell me, have you seen any so-called body artists? On the other side of the river. To reach the surface, use the chairlift, buddy. And now we shall go and rape and kill every last one of them. We are the tattooists, the true descendants of Leonardo, of Michelangelo, of Botticelli, of Rubens, of, of Andy Warhol! To avoid bloodshed, it was decided that the anti-Zog and the leader should both have a cup of tea together. This is the Holy Elvis. Bow down before him. If this really is the Elvis, then I will. But first... Just as I suspected, a rubber doll operated by a computer disguised as a wig. Seize the anti-Zog. And just as I suspected, the leader is a toy rabbit with a hundredth generation mobile phone as a brain. And the anti-Zog is only a glove puppet operated by a criminal body artist. Help them! Help them! Help get out of here alive. Wait, I have an idea. Quick, follow me. This way. I've set the controls to take you both to the planet Zark. Quick, get on board. What about you, Professor? Only two can travel. I shall remain here. No, that's not fair. People have always said that I wanted just to run away. But that is not true. You must go. Professor? Thanks. You can begin all over again. Quick, save the child. Leave. Head for the mirror. Please! Reach up! You must pass through it! last, 
Aid and Eva had arrived on the planet Zog. It seemed to them to be like a huge garden, a kind of paradise. But no matter how hard they looked, they couldn't find one single Zog. In fact, there seemed to be no one else in the garden at all. And then, one day, Aid saw a large apple tree and ate one of the apples. He couldn't wait to tell Eva. Look, Eva, try this. Mm, what's that? Hi, my name is Eric. Ah, it's a talking snake. And now it's time for me to go and live in the forest and eat berries and human flesh. distant future that is yet to be, a space vessel is out eradicating space debris. If only this poor man realized what he held in his hands, he would fling it far away from himself and flee, for here before him was both the cause of mankind's creation and the reason for its inevitable destruction. You may be wondering what became of Professor Einschwiller. Unfortunately, the poor man was blown to pieces, as were all those on board the spaceship. This catastrophe, however, allowed the body artists to collect the bits that were left and sew them all together to create at last the artwork of their dreams. The world could now truly live together as one. Zu hum stetela hin raus, stetela hin raus, oh, und du mein Schatz bleibst hier. Wenn ich komm, wenn ich komm, wenn ich wieder, wieder komm, wieder, wieder komm, geh ich ein, mein Schatz bei dir. 